What we got going on there is the uh, DOT coming through and trimming the trees down the road that's on my fence line. And uh, I heard him out here raising cane this morning. Uh, I said, what in the world is that noise at the road? And I was on a bush haul myself on a tractor doing my fields. And uh, I figured out that they was up here cutting the trees. <clears throat> and it's always a worrisome deal when they do that because that is a living fence. Uh, there's barbed wire hooked to these trees. And uh, they might go in and cut the wire. They might damage the tree too much. But also, the... Uh, Came like a buffer for the other cows that's across the road and my cows they won't see each other but uh cows across the road now are gone you don't have no more cows but uh i'm gonna go to school right quick get my uh kid from school and we'll come back through here in about 30 minutes and hopefully they're gone and we'll do an inspection on the uh the fence line because right now i got the cows in that front pasture uh, the bush hog is all done I plan on moving them Sunday to another field but uh and then moving back over here around the August to the 10th before deer season starts probably for the rest of the winter uh, well at least until January in the front field what cows I have left that we're not going to sell but uh let me go get her from school let's see what he's doing now he's back he thinks I'm turning but pull up here Take a look. I'm not sure if it's one tractor on the other end or he's doing it all by himself. But he's been out here for at least five hours right here. And uh, we'll come back in a little while and we'll check the fence, make sure there's nothing tore up because something tore up. I got moody cows today, get that fixed. All right. All right, the next morning, I wasn't able to come out here yesterday evening and I filmed this fence line. Uh, I, I tried to, but I had the GoPro in the truck. It was a full battery. And I left it in the truck and it got too hot and it killed the battery. But <clears throat> I put it under the uh, sun visor and uh, under some gloves and the floorboard, but it still got too hot. It wiped it out. So I let it charge all night. Here I am. Let's walk down, or let's drive down here to the fence line and see if the DOT has damaged my fence. If so, we're gonna have a lot of work to do today to get it fixed. Now what'll happen sometimes is they'll come in here, the DOT, and they'll, you know, cut the grass and cut all the limbs off. And then not long after that, the power cut will come through and whack off the top. And that really puts a big stress on these trees here. Uh, but they're making it through. I don't know if the power company's gonna come out here uh, to do it uh, soon, but when they do, hopefully there's a little bit of time passes so it won't hurt these trees so bad.
Well, I didn't see any damage, so that's good. We got away with it for another year. No fence repairs needed. I'm coming here to turn around now. Get the fit, the, the uh, pigs fed, and get the day started. Thanks for everybody watching.